Is it legal? Is it even safe? These are the questions Steve Wallace often receives as he sets up camp in the most unexpected places, whether it's the grassy median of a busy highway or a secluded corner of an airport parking lot. But what drives a man to challenge the norms of camping and, in doing so, gather millions of fans across the globe? The story of Steve Wallace is more than just about camping. It's about rebellion, resilience, and redefining what it means to be an adventurer in the 21st century. Steve Wallace, a YouTube sensation with over 1.5 million subscribers, didn't set out to become the face of unconventional camping. Born on September 10, 1981, in Vancouver, Canada, his early years were far from glamorous. A part of his youth was spent living in an RV out of necessity, not choice, a fact that he often references as the foundation of his unique perspective on life and camping. His channel, Camping with Steve, offers a window into a world that most people would never consider exploring. Stealth camping, as Steve calls it, involves setting up camp in places where most wouldn't dare, urban areas, industrial zones, and even overpasses. However, for Steve, these locations are more than just settings for his adventures. They're a quiet protest against the commercialization and gentrification of a pastime he believes should remain accessible to everyone. Steve Wallace's videos are a masterclass in simplicity and resourcefulness. While many outdoor enthusiasts invest in expensive gear and plan elaborate trips, Steve takes a different approach. His equipment is often minimalistic, just a bedroll, a campfire, and a can of beans. Yet, what he lacks in gear, he makes up for in creativity. Steve's ingenuity has earned him a loyal following, from using hand sanitizer as a fire starter to cooking full meals on tiny propane grills. His commitment to safety is another aspect that sets him apart. In a world where many YouTubers chase views by pushing boundaries, Steve is meticulous about his well-being. For instance, he is the only camping YouTuber who consistently uses a CO2 monitor in his tent, a precaution due to his use of propane grills in confined spaces. This attention to detail, combined with his down-to-earth personality, has made him a relatable figure in the YouTube camping community. However, Steve's journey has not been without its challenges. As his popularity has grown, so too have the risks associated with his unique style of camping. The legality of some of his chosen camping spots has come under scrutiny. Although Steve is careful to avoid trespassing and always adheres to local regulations, there's a growing concern that his adventures could lead to legal trouble. Additionally, the very success that has propelled Steve into the spotlight has also made his stealth camping endeavors more difficult. Fans now recognize him in public, sometimes jeopardizing the secrecy of his camping locations. In a recent video, Steve mentioned that he might have to start using disguises to avoid detection, a far cry from the anonymity he enjoyed when he first started his channel. Despite these challenges, Steve remains committed to his mission of making camping accessible to everyone. He has been vocal about his frustration with the commercialization of camping, likening it to golf, a pastime often associated with the affluent. Steve argues that true camping doesn't require a $300 backpacking tarp or a luxury RV. Instead, it's about connecting with nature in its most raw and unfiltered form. In recent times, Steve's story took a heartbreaking turn that deeply resonated with his audience. His wife, Jess, who had been a silent but significant presence in his life, tragically passed away in 2022. The loss was profound and left Steve and his community in shock. Steve has since dedicated his videos to Jess's memory, continuing the work they both cherished. This personal tragedy has added a new layer of depth to Steve's videos. While his content still focuses on stealth camping, there's now an undercurrent of reflection and introspection. His fans have rallied around him, offering support and sharing their own stories of loss, making his channel not just a space for camping enthusiasts, but also a community of people who have faced similar hardships. His journey from a man living in an RV out of necessity to a YouTube star with over 1.5 million subscribers is a testament to the power of staying true to oneself. Whether he's camping in a freezing U-Haul or a hidden spot in a busy city, Steve continues to challenge the norms of camping, offering his viewers a fresh perspective on what it means to live a life of adventure.